Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So if you haven't watched my last couple videos, uh, you guys know that now this is the Garage Queen. I have a dedicated daily driver, which is a 2018 Outback. Um, so the STI is now my fun car. It's going to be living in the garage most of the time. You know, it's only going to come out, you know, during nice days and everything like that. So it's winter here in New Jersey and, you know, I'm only going to take it out when it's nice and there's no snow on the ground or it's not going to rain or anything like that. Right now we have snow on the ground, so it's going to stay put for quite a while. Uh, I have it hooked up to a battery tender. I actually need to pick up a new one for whatever reason. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be working as well as it used to. It's about 10 years old. I used to use it on my M3 years ago, um, but I need to pick up a new one. If anybody has re any recommendations for a good one, let me know. Uh, I would love to pick one up and try that out and maybe do a review on it, if, you know, depending on uh, if anybody cares or whatever. But for now, it's working. It's charging the battery, keeping it keeping it charged up. But today's video, um, since it's gonna be spending time in the garage, the car doesn't get dirty while it sits in the garage, but it gets dusty with the garage door opening and closing, pulling in and out and stuff. And plus the kids walking by it, I kind of wanted to get something to protect the car. Um, just in the meantime, you know, I didn't want anything crazy. I used to have a California car cover for my M3. It was an outdoor cover. It was very hard. Um, it was, you know, it fit the car very well. It did its job. Uh, but I wanted something that was specifically for indoors because it's not going to spend time outside. Really did some research. I was really looking around to try to find something uh, very soft, like a satin kind of feel, something that's form fitting over the car, just to add a layer of protection, just to keep any any dust or anything that may fall on the paint while it's sitting in the garage, plus a little bit added protection. So if a kid's walking by and they, you know, their hand bumps into the car or something, at least the material, the fabric will be kind of blocking the paint. Uh, so it'll prevent it from scratching or anything that may happen. So it's inevitable. It does happen. Um, you know, <laughs> my kids, they're, they're very careful. They know, you know, not to go around dad's car, but you know, it happens. When you have kids, you'll understand. But like I said, I picked up a car cover. I got this from carcoversfactory.com. I did a lot of research. I tried to find uh, something that, like I said, it was a very silky material. Uh, a lot of them that I found were $500, $400, $600, Crazy, crazy expensive. I did not want to spend that much. I just wanted something just to kind of fit over the car, just to kind of, you know, protect it a little bit, nothing crazy. One of the things I was looking for was something that actually had the mirror pockets that slip over. Uh, but any of those that I did find, like I said, they were four, five, six hundred dollars. And I, I didn't want to spend that. That's crazy. You know, I understand they're, they're much superior quality. Uh, they'll probably last a much longer time. Uh, but I ended up picking this one up. Uh, I think it was around 160 bucks. I'll leave a link below. I'm not sponsored by it or, you know, I didn't get any partnership or anything with it. I literally just bought it because, you know, it caught my eye. The price was good. It was exactly what I was looking for. Um, so I'll leave it below if anybody is interested. Uh, but it is just a black, a plain black cover. There's no logos. There's no writing on it, which is just what I wanted. I don't like when there's big car logos on it or branding or anything on it. I just want something simple and just, you know, looks clean. Uh, but you can still see the outline of the cars. So you get a little preview of what the what kind of car is under here. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, so the only way to really do this is to open it up and put it on the car. I can't really spread it out on the workbench over here because it's obviously the size of the car. On the website, you can just punch in your car and it'll give you the size you need and you can just buy it. But if anybody is curious, this is a size D, the sedan version. So supposedly this fits with the giant STI wing. Uh, there's no crazy antenna, it's just a shark fin, so that'll go over nicely. But I don't have any crazy um, aero parts or anything on here that's going to, you know, change the fitment or anything like that. So it should fit pretty well. But without further ado and enough talking, let's get it out of the little bag that it comes with, which is nice. It'll be a nice storage bag. So when I'm not using it, I'll keep it in the cabinet. Um, but let's lay it over the car and see exactly how this fits. One thing I wanted to point out, um, I was kind of looking around to see if there was a front or back or anything like that, but I found on the tag here, there's, it says front, so you know exactly which way it goes. It is folded up in a way where it just, just doesn't kind of lay over the car, so you kind of got to you know, unfold it. I'd rather do it on the car than on the workbench, of, you know, in case it falls on the ground or something like that. Um, so I'm just doing it on top, which is vinyl. You know, it doesn't scratch or anything like that. Another thing that I recommend doing is, before, I did it off camera, was I actually took my leaf blower that I used to dry the car with, and I just kind of blew the whole car up just to make sure there was no dust or anything on the car. There wasn't anything, but it's a nice precaution to take right before you put a cover on. Something I will note, you do not want to put a car cover on if your car is dirty. The only time you want to put one on is if the car is 
completely clean. It's completely dry. You don't want to put it on right after a wash. You want to wait for it to be completely dry and all the cracks and everything. Um, so last time I washed this car was probably about a week and a half ago or so. Um, so it's completely dry, it's completely clean, it hasn't been driven since. So one thing to note is you do not want to put the cover on if the car is dirty uh, or if you just didn't do a full wash. That increases the chances of scratching the car. Um, so by all means, please make sure the car is completely clean before you put any type of car cover on your car. Guys, this is exactly what I was looking for. It fits so well. It's so soft. Actually on the inside is like a fleecy material. So it's even softer than like the satin on the outside. Uh, but this thing fits beautifully. I mean, it tucks underneath, it has really, uh, it has like elastic corners. So it wraps under the lip really well. Um, and then if you come around the back, the actual uh, spats right here, the base on our spats, it's perfect because it actually like hooks underneath. Uh, and it fits really, really well. So happy with this. I mean, this is exactly what I was looking for. Just, just a little bit of material from, you know, between the paint and actual, you know, on the outside, just so to keep all the dust off and anything, you know, we were getting a snowstorm and my wife was going in and out of the garage with her car. And, um, you know, it was kind of, the snow was blowing in, getting on the car, so I had to keep wiping it off. So it was a big pain in the butt. Granted, this is not an outdoor cover, so you can't get it wet. It's not gonna perform like a, you know, an outdoor car cover but it will protect from like the couple drops that do get on the paint from when you open and close it. Plus on a windy day, you know, all the dust and stuff blowing in. And granted, we do not keep the garage open for a long extended period of time. It's only when we're coming in and out. So it is really nice uh, just to have this as an added reassurance, added security, and plus it looks freaking sweet. But I really like the look of this. I think it's really cool. One thing I wanted to mention, you know, just kind of getting a little, uh, little deep right here real quick. <laughs> um, this is like a, a huge dream of mine that I wanted. Um, I, a lot of people always wish they could have like a cool sports car, uh, you know, be able to keep home and they have a daily driver. Social media these days, it's, it's really hard for people to kind of see that, you know, everyone's buying 200, 300, $400,000 cars, like it's nothing. Uh, but I'll tell you what, having a 35, $40,000 STI sitting in my garage and being able to drive something else every day and not have to worry about this getting, you know, beat up and everything. It's kind of surreal to me. Uh, it's something that I've wanted my whole life to be able to do this. And to be in a position to be able to do this is kind of surreal to me. I love driving this car. I do miss driving it every single day, but knowing it's clean in the garage and then I can take it out when I want, when it's nice and I don't have to worry about the rain and snow, it's, it's a feeling that is hard to describe. I'm sure some of you who are in a similar situation where you can have a daily driver and your STI or WX, uh, but man, it is a good, good feeling to be able to do this. This is so cool to me. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to add more cars to the fleet um, and be able to do this more often. I don't know, you know, that's down the road in the future, but for now I'm incredibly thankful um, and I, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, for following me, supporting me. A lot of this is because of you guys, so I really do appreciate it. Uh, and it's such a dream come true. So let's go around real quick. I'll just show you the fitment of it. It fits really, really well. Like I said, it is the size D version sedan, um, but like you can go on the website, just punch in your car that you want and they'll automatically you know, give you the size that you need for your car. But this fits really, really well. It's really cool. It looks like an abstract kind of art form here. You can see all the lines and the hood. And so that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was got a form fit to the car where you can see the lines. It's, it's really cool. You can see the grill, um, see this hood scoop right here. It's a really nice material. You know, it's not super thick, which is exactly what I didn't want. I wanted something really thin, uh, but it form fits so well, kind of hard to show all the details, but it really, really is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. I don't want anything with large logos here. I don't want Subaru or anything like that. Because one thing I don't like is when people put car covers on and they leave them outside. And one of the things about a car cover is to, you know, kind of deter people from looking at it and just kind of 
you know, noticing it, I guess. So when people put, you know, giant BMW or Porsche car covers on their BMW or Porsche, it's kind of like a, Hey, look at me, look what's under here. I never understood that. I mean, I get it. It's branding, uh, but that's just not my style. So this is more me. I like, it's just kind of sleek and hidden. Um, but nobody's giving me my garage, but me. So I don't really care about the whole deterrent aspect of it, but Man, this is so cool. I absolutely love it. I'm going to come out here and just look at this thing more often. It's going to be such an experience now. Driving this car is an experience in general, uh, but being able to come out here and, you know, take the car cover off, it's going to be such, it's going to be even more of an experience. It's going to be such like an event. Uh, and I love that. I think it's going to be, it's going to just add to my ownership and make it that much more fun to drive this car. You know, prepping myself like, oh, I'm going to take the SDI tomorrow. I'm gonna take the cover off and I don't know. I just think it's I think it's really cool. Something that I always wanted to do. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions about the car cover, again, I'll link it below if you guys are interested in it. I think it's absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. If this is something that someone else was looking for as well, 100% buy it. I have no regrets at all. Again, it was about $160, $170. Totally worth it. Compared to all the other ones out there, you know, you're spending four or $500. I mean, I'm sure they're better. Um, you know, those are also outdoor ones as well that will hold up to all types of weather. But if you're looking for a really nice, on the cheaper side, indoor car cover, 100%, no question. This was the best one that I found. Uh, I did a lot of research and I think this is, this definitely fit the bill and uh, it fits the car perfectly. <laughs> it's really nice, I like it a lot. Ask any questions below. If you have any questions on the cover or the car, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, but in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, keep it covered. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one.